what is going on everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the vlog it is another beautiful day in manhattan i'm currently on a city bike as you can see here and i am headed to my hospital now i'm actually not going to the hospital to start my first day as you can see by what i'm wearing but i am going to the hospital to do my annual fit testing which if you work in healthcare, you know you have to do every single year, even though it kind of went by the wayside this past year due to COVID. This video is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the largest e-counseling platform. Their mission is to make professional counseling affordable, accessible, and convenient. So anyone who struggles with life challenges can get help anytime and anywhere. You can receive licensed counseling through your tablet, computer, or mobile phone via text messaging, video calls, or even phone calls. BetterHelp also has group sessions every week where members can learn in groups directly from licensed counselors on multiple topics like relationships, and ways to overcome anxiety. BetterHelp is available worldwide and has licensed therapists who are certified by their state boards to provide therapy and counseling. The best part about BetterHelp is it only costs between $65 and $85 per week, and there is financial aid available for those who qualify. You can actually apply for financial aid during the sign-up process, which is pretty easy. You just simply put in some information about yourself, the issues you currently want to work through, you process the payment, and then you're connected with a licensed counselor. It's that easy. So if you are dealing with life challenges and need to reach out to someone, please use the link in my description, betterhelp.com slash Dr. Cellini to get 10% off your first month of counseling. Now, please note BetterHelp is not a crisis support line. So if you are currently experiencing a crisis, I provided some resources in the link in my description. Again, use the link in my description, betterhelp.com slash Dr. Cellini to get 10% off your first month of counseling. Now, let's get back to the video. Turn different colors and beautiful colors to take the shape of one of with the past time about the green and apparently beyond the horizon. This is hard to take off with one hand. Okay. Oh my god. That was the hardest thing I've done in a long time. Okay. But for seriously, that was a lot more involved than I remember last time. Also, there are no city bikes right here, so I'm gonna sit here and wait for one. But yeah, I think we started taking the uh, fit testing a lot more seriously now. Because, I mean, I can't remember how many times I've been fit tested in my life, but usually, for the last seven or so years through med school, well, I guess 10 years almost, uh, we basically just go through the motions, put in our N95 mask, yeah, we don't taste anything, blah, 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 and then we get our mask and that's our fit test for the year. But then all of a sudden this whole COVID situation came around and we take it a lot more seriously now. I, for one, do take it a lot more seriously now. I think what I'm trying to say is that before it used to be like a check mark, and now it's basically like, you better do this because your life depends on it. So I actually tested for three different masks and it's about 90 degrees outside and I was still hot from my bike over to the hospital. And when I put that hood on, I was sweating so much and the whole thing was fogging up and I couldn't see anything. My face was dripping sweat and we had to do it three times. Now it's like this whole prolonged process. So essentially you put the mask on, spray it, move around, turn your head up and down, minute and a half, minute and a half, minute and a half, here, there, you have to run in place, jog up and down, and yeah, they take it very seriously now.
good morning. It is the weekend now. Uh, Adriana starts a new job at a new location this weekend. So I've decided to take the subway and go with her to this neighborhood because it's a little adventure to take this morning and I was gonna do nothing besides sit on my couch. So might as well go with her. I'll explore while she's at work. If you guys have seen the Netflix documentary, Lenox Hill, you may remember that building right there. That's the Lenox Hill Greenwich Village ER. So anyways, Andrana's working today. I'm gonna go around, probably just film some stuff and explore. So I dropped Andrana off at work and now I'm just exploring the West Village, which I totally forgot how adorable this neighborhood is. I haven't been over here in so long and we would only ever go out here. So it's been quite a bit of time since I've been over here, but I'm going to try to find a local breakfast shop, which any other time of the year would be very easy, except everything is still closed with the exception of a few restaurants. So I'm gonna see if I can find some, some omelet somewhere or something. Also, if I just turn behind me, you may be able to see Freedom Tower right there. So yeah. All right, I'm gonna go find some breakfast. Also, if you ever get lost in New York, because it can be pretty daunting to find your way around here sometimes when you don't really know the city. One thing I realized when I first moved here is that if I ever get lost, I just look up. Because when I look up, I can see a building and that's kind of used as a landmark. So for instance, there's Freedom Tower or One World Trade Center is that way. So I know that is south and I know that's the bottom of the island. So if I want to go north, I head opposite of that. Pretty simple concept, but you know, a lot of people don't think about that. But then I guess you really need to know how or where the buildings are to kind of use that concept. But basically south, there is one World Trade Center. Midway through is the Empire State Building, which I'm about to go to. And then you can use other landmarks of the big uh, Midtown buildings up in the middle of the island as well. So that's what I do. Maybe if you visit here, that might help you. Also, I hear Google Maps is pretty good too. All right, it's a beautiful day and you know what that means. I might as well get a nice city bike, ride around down here and explore because I don't skateboard like Casey Neistat. So I might as well hop on one of these million open bikes over here. So I just got to my favorite spot in the entire city. It's been my favorite spot since I moved here back in 2010. I used to actually live right around the corner on 23rd Street. And my favorite spot happens to be Madison Square Park. I'll show you around in just a second, but since we're kind of talking about mental health in this video, I kind of wanted to talk about why I love this spot so much. So I think it's important, especially as a healthcare professional, to kind of focus on your mental health because it's pretty much the only thing we have. So as you know, I partnered with BetterHelp on this video because I think they offer some valuable resources to healthcare providers and pretty much everybody because we go through a lot in healthcare and sometimes you just want someone to talk to and go through stuff with. Um, this is kind of my outlet, honestly. I'm talking to a camera, but I'm also kind of expressing what I'm going through as you guys follow me through along this entire journey. So it's kind of therapeutic in a way. The reason I love this park so much is because it's a quiet gym in the middle of 23rd and Park Avenue. It's beautiful. You have a nice park atmosphere. You're surrounded by big buildings. And when I first came here, this was like my go-to spot. There's lines of benches to sit on. And now, especially with social distancing, you kind of have your own separate area to kind of just hang out and relax and kind of close your eyes and just kind of think about everything that's going on and focus on you. So I tend to come here pretty often just to kind of relax. And I used to come here often and I'm going to come here more often. It's like a tiny central park in the lower east side of Manhattan. Um, so if you want to come here, check it out, Madison Square Park. This is where it's at. Also, it's where Shake Shack was founded. If you don't know what Shake Shack is, Google it. But yeah, when I first 
first came to this uh, park, this building right here, this square building, was like my absolute favorite building. It was the only thing along the park, along with the clock tower. That guy. Oh, that's a nice view, actually. So, this was my favorite building. This is a new building. This is the clock tower I loved as well. And also, this is the first Shake Shack ever invented. It started here, ladies and gentlemen. Also, I still haven't found some breakfast, so I'm gonna go do that now. And then I'm going to park again and respond to more questions because I just posted a video right now. And that's pretty much it. Also, while I'm at it, let me show you my other favorite park that I've never been inside. It happens to be Gramercy Square Park. This is probably the most exclusive park in Manhattan. Why is it so exclusive, you ask? Well, for one, you have to live along this super, super expensive square of Gramercy Square Park in order to get a key to the park. So the only people that have access to the park live around it, which is crazy. And some of these places are pretty expensive. But I've heard there is a little loophole with getting access to this park because some people have airbnb their apartments around here. And if you stay at one of those Airbnbs, you get a key, which is a nice way to experience the park without spending $10 million. Now, if we want to talk about mental health, in relaxation in this city. I think being in Gramercy Square Park might be the best place for just mental relaxation and focusing on your own mental health. So maybe one day you or I will get about $10 million and maybe we'll own a brownstone in Gramercy Square Park and we can have access to that park to just kind of relax and enjoy nature quietly. I don't know if you guys remember my one of my interview videos but I actually sat right here in this window and I was studying for boards and did kind of like a time lapse but now instead of going inside we have to do this which is we order behind a plexiglass thing I stand out here and I get my food and coffee and then take it somewhere on the street See, this is what I love the most you can kind of just stop anywhere you are Find a little stoop to put your egg sandwich on and just kind of eat it in the middle of the street. I don't know why I love it so much. This is my current setup. And so it looks like it is about to start raining, so I got it in the vlog here. As always, make sure you smash the like, subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram if you don't already. Please make sure you hit that thumbs up because it really helps out the algorithm. And I see a lot of you all lurking around that aren't subscribing to my channel, but watch my videos. I see you. Otherwise, everybody, we'll see you all on the next video.